Did you know that your Linux system had hidden files? No! God, no! Then this video has something for you. Stay tuned. So let us start off by listing all the hidden files in the current directory with the all option. The dot, the double dot, and any file name with a dot prefix is a hidden file. So that said, let us move on. Do you know of the uses of hidden files in your Linux system? Hey, I doubt it. Okay. Did the alias that you created remain persistent? As mentioned earlier, let us start off by creating an alias for the ls color with an lsc which holds the command ls space double hyphen color. And let's see what happens. When I use the alias lsc, it works perfectly fine. Victory screech! <laughs> However, when I open a new terminal and try out the same alias, I get an lsc not found. So to fix that problem, I go to the home directory and look for the hidden file .bashrc. I list out its contents and it looks like it's empty. So let us try and open it using a vim and enter our alias in that so that it remains persistent. Let me go to the insert mode, enter the alias and uh, let me save this file using a colon wq and an exclamation to override and we should be ready in a new window and it works perfectly fine and it's now persistent Damn! did you know about all the commands that you previously executed are inside a hidden file really let us start off by writing cat space dot bash underscore history which is a hidden file that contains all the previously executed commands on this system it has probably close to 500 commands 500 of the previously executed commands. This is very useful just in case you didn't remember there was a history command. Ah, interesting. 